Ooh, that picture is sexy. Damn. Hey, good looking. You looking good. Do people say that while looking at your profile picture? No? Well, they should because, ooh, you making it hot in here. Admit it, you spend tons of time shooting, prepping, lighting, and posing for the perfect profile picture. And it's hard. What should you do? Duck lips? Above angle? Below angle? Full smile? Blue steel? Cliché jumping pose? That's so dangerous to do in heels. <laughs> so today I want to talk about what makes a perfect profile picture. What makes it hot or not? My name is Vanessa Van Edwards, and I run a human behavior research lab called The Science of People. We research all the crazy cool things that drive our behavior. One thing we are fascinated by is profile pictures. Alexander Todorov found that pictures taken of the same person can have totally different first impression ratings. In his lab, he took slightly different pictures of the same person and asked participants to rate them on characteristics like trustworthiness, intelligence, and attractiveness. Each pose got totally different ratings. This proves that how you take a picture does change people's perceptions of you. Which picture do you think is better, A or B? Watch on to find out. My research partner Jose Pina and I devised an experiment. We analyzed over 400 randomly selected photos of men and women from the website Hot or Not. Each of these have a hot, or not, numerical rating. We wanted to see what the difference was between the hottest posers and the notest posers. Here's what we found. Number one, skin or no skin. Are you ready for this? Even though men get a bad rap for wanting to see skin, women actually were more interested in men who showed off. Cleavage, short skirts, lots of skin did not make a difference between low and high ranking women. However, men really benefited from showing off their goods. High ranking men tended to show off their chest and were shirtless more often than low ranking men. You got it, flaunt it. Number two, don't hide. Want to show you're available and open to a relationship? Then be open and show yourself. Photos with hats and glasses were a total buzzkill for the hot factor. Sunglasses were especially detrimental. This is most likely because we use eye gaze to build connection. When raiders can't see eyes, they feel the poser might be distant or standoffish, and no one wants that in a partner. Funny note, while hats and glasses weren't great, headphones seemed to make no difference at all. Number three, front me. Ever wonder how you should face the camera? The results are in. We find it more attractive when people fully face the camera. This is especially important for men. Why? Fronting is a nonverbal sign of respect. When you're really engaged with someone, you align your entire body with theirs. Head to head, torso to torso, toe to toe. In photos when we're trying to gauge how attentive someone might be as a mate or how much they would respect us, fronting gives us a subconscious cue. Without realizing it, we think people who angle towards the camera are also angling towards us. This makes us see them as more in tune with us. Number four, context matters. Think your hotness is only about you? Think again. The hottest photos also tended to have some kind of a background story. Hiking, beach trips, travel, cooking, driving, photos that included some kind of activity added to the hotness of both men and women. We also counted what we call trophies. These are objects that people put on display in a photo in addition to themselves. The most common ones for men were guitars, cars, motorcycles, and guns. Although none of these impacted hotness scores, sorry guys, not all women are impressed by a guitar. Number five, to smile or not to smile. The biggest question we get around profile pictures is to smile or not. The answer might surprise you. For women, closed mouth smiles were the worst. The most low ranking women used the closed mouth smile. High ranking women had either a full smile or a neutral face. So if you're gonna smile, go big. For men, surprisingly, neutral faces tended to do best. High ranking men had serious or still faces often looking off into the sunset, and those seem to do better than low-ranking men who smiled wide. 
Number six, get handsy. Ever wondered if you should show your hands in your picture? If you're a woman, the answer is yes. Half of the high-ranking women had their hands visible in their photo, while only a third of the low-ranking women did. Hands are our non-verbal trust indicators. It seems that when men were rating women on attractiveness, they also factor in trustworthiness and visible hands is a positive indicator of that. Number seven, the Monroe gaze. Marilyn Monroe was famous for her flirty head tilt and sultry stare. Our coder, Jose Pina, noticed that many of the high-ranking women used the Monroe gaze in their photos. This seems to be a hallmark of hot women. A Monroe gaze is when a woman tilts her head, looks up through her lashes, and hoods her eyes, pouts her lips, and sometimes exposes her neck. This is a very flirtatious gesture because it looks similar to what a woman does when she's experiencing physical pleasure. Exposing her neck also releases pheromones. If you want to see a funny example of this, go check out pictures or YouTube clips of Lola Bunny and Jessica Rabbit. Have you ever noticed that female cartoon animals are frequently of the rabbit variety? Hmm, curious. Number eight, what color is best? Want to know what the best color is to wear in your profile picture? Confidence is the best color in your closet. We looked at colors in both male and female shots and found no significant difference between high and low ranking women and men. However, confident poses were markedly different for both high and low ranking women and men. Confident poses were marked by broad, expansive body language, relaxed shoulders, and taking up more physical space in their photos. Attractiveness is as much about attitude as appearance. Now it's your turn. These first eight tips will get you started. But want more tips on taking the perfect profile picture? Visit scienceofpeople.com slash selfie to download our free guide on how to take the perfect selfie. Can't wait to see yours. You know what I do in all my pictures? I'm always like, I'm like the mouth open one. Like I'm always like saying, woo! I'm a woo girl. Yeah, that's right.